Hey there YouTube friends. I hope everybody's doing really well. Today's video will be my home fragrance empties for the month of October 2020. So I made my way through a good amount of stuff. Um, I'm getting through a lot more gourmand sort of spicy um, fragrances which as you know are not my f absolute fave but I'm learning to enjoy them so let's talk candles first because they take up a lot of space and I want to get them out of the way I finally got around to burning my cinnamon sugared donut I'll be honest I I bought this candle in part because of the packaging because it's so dang cute um, no scent notes here because this candle is a little bit older um, I bought it at least a year ago so I was a little nervous about this being that cinnamon is in the title there's pretty much no scent left in this because yes there's a little bit of purple wax there but I put this on my warmer at the end guys this was actually amazing <laughs> damn this candle was good I would buy it again and as you can see, a pretty good burn. I, I don't get to say that very often. It had very thick wicks, so I was a little bit concerned about that. I burnt this in my bedroom. And it, when burning, the cinnamon sort of took a back seat to the sort of fried bakery note, which was the predominant note for me, which is why I love this. It was a great candle. It was... I don't know why I'm smelling it. There's really no scent left. It was literally a cinnamon sugar donut. <laughs> um, yeah, so I loved it enough that I took that half inch worth of wax on the bottom and threw it on my candle warmer to get the last bit of fragrance out of it, which says a lot. So yes, I would repurchase. I haven't seen that candle in a while, actually. Have you? If you have, leave me a comment below. I have not been into Bath & Body Works in a really long time, so. Up next, my beloved, I always go through a bunch of marshmallow firesides every fall and winter. I actually melted this one. Um, so I've been melting chunks of this since last year. Oh, guys, one of my all-time favorite fragrances. Again, no scent notes on this, but it's like toasted marshmallow, vanilla, amber. It's just a super sweet, smoky marshmallow. It's heaven. I was obsessed with this luminary packaging really pretty one burning because you can see the flame through the cutouts oh it just smells so good guys i mean i'm not gonna go too much into marshmallow fireside because everybody knows what it is and you either love it or you don't so last up i have already cleaned this out but that's okay we're gonna talk about it anyway no surprise here every fall i enjoy my beloved autumn oh it's so good guys now Unfortunately for me, that autumn burnt like absolute shit. It was a terrible performer. Tiny wicks, puny wick syndrome. It was almost self-extinguishing every single time I burned it. I was going to return it, but I didn't want to go to Bath and Body Works, to be perfectly honest with you. I didn't want to deal with the crowds. I didn't want to deal with, you know, the risk of COVID just to return a candle. So I thought I'll keep burning it as long as I can and then if I have to, I'll put it on my warmer. Luckily for me, even though it was not a great performer and had tiny wicks, it did burn down um, till pretty much the end. It just, because the wicks were so little and they were almost self-extinguishing, I had to, I had to do some work on that candle to get it to keep going. I had to be careful. I had to move the wicks around a bit. They were bending, they were flopping. I had to move the wax around a bit so that it wouldn't self-extinguish. Um, there were times that only two of the wicks would light. It was just a joke. But I was able to get it going to the bottom. But because of all of those issues, the strength and throw was not what I wanted it to be. But I bumped up the scent with Sensi's Autumn Road Trip, which I don't want to get into it because I'll go on and on and on about that fragrance. But guys that is a dupe in my opinion of autumn from bath and body works and because bath and body works candles haven't been performing consistently for me i am so excited for autumn road trip 
it's not in this video because I'm taking my time with it and I haven't finished it because I love it so much but I did warm it with that Bath and Body Works Autumn Burning which really bumped up the fragrance for me because it was such a poor performer. Um, I don't have scent notes on Autumn off the top of my head. I think it's eucalyptus, apple, and some sort of tree fragrance. Um, I always describe Autumn as if you were walking through the woods on a damp day and you could smell... Sorry about the noise, guys. <laughs> I have all my windows open. Um, and you could smell the damp leaves, damp trees, and your apple picking. That's what Autumn smells like. It is my all-time favorite fall fragrance. I've talked about it way too much on my channel, <laughs> but I don't care because I love it. I'm gonna make a little bit of room here. Okay, so that's it for candles, guys. I'm very proud of this. I finished my sugar cookie brick, my first one. Now, because sugar cookie is such a soft fragrance and it doesn't have the strength and throw that I wish it, it did, um, I use a lot of it. So I went through that much quicker than I think I've gone through any other brick. But I was using that sugar cookie with other spicy fragrances to sort of just add a sweet bakery note. And it worked out really well. Um, up next, I'm just finishing this off right now. Oh, scent notes on sugar cookie is just like butter cookie sugar. <laughs> Literally smells like a vanilla sugar cookie. They're amazing. It's amazing. Um, pumpkin roll. This was my first time warming pumpkin roll. I have it going right now. It's towards the end of its life right now. I don't know. It's very cinnamon in the clam on cold. But to me, it's just a very like generic, here we go again, fall pumpkin scent, blah, blah, blah. I know people die for that stuff. I'm just, you guys know, it's not my favorite. I finally got through Sizzling Cinnamon from the Jelly Belly Collection. I knew that I probably wouldn't love this bar, um, but it, it just made sense for me to get this Jelly Belly Collection in the whole collection instead of adding a few bars to my club. So I got through it. I used the sugar cookie with that to sort of knock down the cinnamon a bit. It literally smells like a cinnamon jelly belly. So there's that. <laughs> I also added some Stroopwafel Delights to Pumpkin Roll and the Sizzling Cinnamon as well. I've had this in alternating warmers in my home. Guys, <laughs> Stroopwafel Delight is life. It literally smells like a sweet buttery waffle. It's so good. Ugh. This is still in my club. This made it through like over a year in my club, which says a lot because I'm constantly editing my club. Like every single time I get it, I edit it. But yes, it's it's just a sweet buttery waffle scent. Really good mixer, really good on its own and an amazing performer. Um, if you have not tried Stroop Waffle Delight yet, I highly, highly recommend. I'm also just finishing this off right now in some warmers, breakfast in bed. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but to me, breakfast in bed is Stroopwafel Delight with something added to it. I think the base of breakfast in bed is Stroopwafel Delight. And I don't really get that. I mean, I do get it on cold, but it's warming right now behind me and that's that's what I smell. I smell Stroopwafel Delight with some sweetness and some spices. I like it, it's okay. I mean, people are really raving about this one. I prefer, 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 sorry guys, Stroop Waffle Delight, and I think it's, be, I prefer it because it's a little less spicy, and well, you guys know how I am about spices. <laughs> small doses, right? Small doses. All right, my last bar I got through is going to seem a little bit random. Just breathe. Guys, I was so sick last week, two weeks ago, so sick. Um, I caught... I guess what it basically was just a nasty cold from um, from work. I care for children and it was going through the home and I caught it and had to go for my first COVID test, which was negative. So no worries there. Um, but I was so sick. I couldn't smell. I couldn't taste. I couldn't breathe. I had no energy. It was awful. And I had half a bar left of this Just Breathe from last year. And I thought, you know what? I'll throw it in my bedroom warmers. I basically was in bed for two days straight sleeping. It was awful. 
Um, and I thought this might clear up my sinuses. I don't like the scent. I mean, it's like mint, eucalyptus, and lemon, I think. Ugh, not really my thing. But it did clear me up a bit, enough that I could kind of smell this. So, I mean, if you want to purchase Just Breathe just for that, I'm sorry, this is not focusing. There we go. Um, just for that, you know, for allergies and, and having a cold and stuff, I do recommend that. So, finish that bad boy finally. It took me a year. And last but not least, oh, I could go on and on about this. This is the Bath and Body Works Balance. Sorry, I'm shaking. My arm is in a really awkward position. <laughs> um, the Juniper and Coriander. This is the Aromatherapy line Pillow Mist. I'm looking to see, oh, Balance. So it's the Balance aromatherapy but look at that packaging oh so pretty guys this was unreal I got this at SAS this summer I want to say it was four or five bucks before coupon did I have a coupon I don't know it doesn't matter it was a good deal thought I would try it and I'm re as soon as I finished this I was so mad at myself that I didn't buy more if I had known I would love this fragrance as much as I do I would have bought three or four I was soaking my bed in this. <laughs> That's how much I like it. Every time I would put fresh sheets on, even though they smelled like Scentsy, they smelled like my Scentsy washer lifts, I didn't care. I still soaked my bedding in this and it was heavenly. And it did last for a few days, like a few days after washing my sheets and I would crawl into bed and I could still get a whiff of this. So that's, that's pretty impressive. But yeah, that's it guys. I'm gonna move the camera back. I'm gonna move my bin here so you can sort of see what I finished in October, 2020. What about you guys? What did you get through? I am very happy that I got through that brick. I am just plowing through my fragrances, guys, and loving every minute of it. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more. Okay, guys, until next time, I hope you're all having a wonderfully scented day. Bye.